Athletes kicks off the Memphis Tigers football season. The home opener against Ole Miss at the Liberty Bowl will be televised on Local 24 at 11. Yes, we have several pregame shows as well. <laughs> we Fans do. say they uh, can't remember when there's been this much excitement about both football and basketball, and it shows. Local 24 News reporter Jenny DePrizio shows you how the resurgence of Tiger sports is creating quite a buzz around the city. We are still three days away from kickoff, but take a look. You can see people have already started staking out their spots for tailgating. It shows you just how excited people are about the season. I think we're going to have a really, really good year. I have a feeling that they're more excited this year than they was last year. At the Tiger Bookstore, fans say they can feel the excitement and that excitement shows in sales. According to the store manager, sales are up 10 times over this time last year. The Highland 100 Football Booster Club hopes the excitement will help recruit new members. They're reaching out on social media and will be recruiting members at games. The club is open to anyone and raises money to help support the football team. Last year they had 368 members. This year they hope to reach 500 members. We are growing in numbers and it definitely is uh, people want to be a part of the University of Memphis Tiger football. The resurgence in Tiger sports isn't just football. Since Penny Hardaway became coach, the Rebounders Basketball Club Booster Club numbers have doubled. I'm told there are 500 members currently. They expect the number to rise to 700 this year and maybe more. No matter the sports, Tiger fans say right now is a good time to be a Tiger. The momentum is incredible. People are so excited. We just can't wait for it to get started. Here's an example of just how excited people are in seven days. The Tiger Bookstore sold 4,800 of these game day t-shirts. Typically, last year they sold on average 2,000 per game. At the Liberty Bowl, Jenny DePrizio, Local 24 News.